Good morning to you all. Today we are going to study film genres part 2. The other day we did part 1 with a documentary narratives and avant-garde. Today we are doing feature film, short film etc. So uh, first let us do with the uh, first let us study feature film. We are going to discuss feature film first. Feature, F E A T U R E, feature film. So we have often heard this term being spoken by many, used by many. What is it? Feature film. So it has deeper connotations, it has various connotations. The Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences. This is an academy in America. The Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences, the American Film Institute and also the British Film Institute maintain that a feature film should have a running time of 40 minutes or longer. So this is the simple definition of feature film. America Academy of Modern Picture Pictures and Arts and Sciences, otherwise British Film Institute, Amare, Avi Prai Pedana, feature film and the Parayan on the Nile. Other than Nalpa the minute, a lingle, Napa the minute layer, other than the length on Dairigan, a lingle, a running time on Dairigan. Nalpa the minute, a term coroner running time on Dairigan. That is what they suggest what these institutes suggest. The Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts and Sciences and the American Film Institute and the British Film Institute maintain that. They obtain that. A feature film should have a running time of 40 minutes or longer. In the early developing phase, developing stage of cinema, when the Lumiere Brothers and George Millet of France, George Millet, presented their contributions, presented their films, uh, presented their clips. They started with a series of short films. The films shown by Lumiere Brothers and George Millet were a series of short films. So at the early developing stage or developing phase of cinema, <clears throat> when the Lumiere Brothers and George Millet presented their uh, exhibitions, at various places they started with began with a series of short films that is the performance by musicians they have shown the performance by musicians in our earlier uh, see film studies uh, I have shown those clippings the performance made by musicians acrobats and magicians were incorporated into these exhibitions, the Lumiere Brothers and the George Mele have incorporated the performance of the musicians, acrobats, and magicians, magicians in the Pradangal. All these were incorporated or included in the earlier shows made by Lumiere Brothers and George Mele. Permanent exhibition centers began to be established by 1905. We know that when we study the history of a cinema, we can see that the permanent exhibition centers or theaters, the permanent exhibition centers or theaters began to be established, started to be bigger now, started to be established by 1905. And uh, two realer films with increased length to around the 20 minutes were presented after 1910. After 1910, the films uh, exhibited in these permanent exhibition uh, centers had a length of two reels. A film reel in a cinema is thousand feet. One reel means thousand feet. Two reels means 2,000 feet. 
20 reels means 20,000 feet and in meters one reel is, is uh, 305 meters one reel is 305 meters so earlier there were two reel films shown at the permanent uh, exhibition centers or theaters so earlier two reel two reeler films with increased length so the clips instead of clips uh, they have shown uh, two reeled films length to around uh, 20 uh, minutes of running time were presented after 19 film makers in Italy increased the running time by bringing out five reel and you know by this time the film makers or directors in Italy increased the running time of films cinema they increased the film length by bringing about five reel five reel means uh, five thousand feet five reel and a nine reel nine thousand feet like uh, example when we cite the examples uh, we should never omit dan days inferno eternal udaharanam umbad reel undayirna dan days inferno dan days inferno that is the name of a film which had uh, uh, nine reels of running time dan days dan days inferno uh, a famous book by the same title inferno by dan day inferno by dan day dan days inferno the filmmaker uh, is Francesco Bertolini Francesco Bertolini is the filmmaker and also there was a co-director Adolf Padoven Adolf Padoven so the film was co-made by the co-directors of the film were Francesco Bertolini and Adolf Padoven and the film was released which film Dante's Inferno was released in the year 1911 1911 it was released or it came out and another lengthy film Covadis Covadis is a Latin name actually Covadis means where are you marching it is a question Covadis where are you marching that is the meaning of literal meaning of the Latin term Covadis Covadis it was made by it was uh, created by it was uh, uh, directed by Enrico Gussoni Enrico Gussoni in the year 1912 it came out in the year 1912 so these were longer films compared with the earlier clips at the same time in France when we go to France we can see the Film D Art Company, there was a cinematic company named Film D Art Company, produced an 8 reel version of Germinal. Germinal, it had 8 reels, that means 8000 feet, it is 8000 feet long. Uh, what is the production in France corresponding to the film productions in Italy? That is the film produced by Film D Art Company. It is an 8 reel version of Germinal and a 12 reel, 12 reel means 12,000 feet long. 12 reel version of Le Mirables. Le Mirables, the famous novel by Victor Hugo. Pavangal. Pavangal Le Mirables. Le Mirables. Victor Hugo got a Le Marables in the cinematic version. That's the name Le Marables. And Le Marables, that's why the Germinal is the film. The Germinal is the film. It's a long time. It's a long time. It's a long time. It's a long time. Le Marables is a 12 reels. See, both these films were directed by Albert K. Pilani. So, both these films were directed by Albert K. Pilani in the year 1913. 1913 so this is the history uh, the history uh, which reveals the growth of feature films the development of uh, feature films
the feature film very soon turned out to be the preferred for in the us also in the us also film makers preferred this form as a medium of entertainment this feature film very soon turned out to be proved to be the preferred form the most liked form in the us in the united states also the success of the regular production of longer films by the permanent and other independent companies also boosted its impact you know the success of the regular production of longer films films have a longer length lo, lo, length unusual length the films produced the films with a longer running time produced by per say some important film companies in the us especially the paramount film company paramount paramount at the earlier phase of the uh, cinema also they produced the uh, films with a longer running time and uh, the hello, films with a longer running times proved to be highly successful also so the success of the regular production of the longer films by the paramount and other independent companies in the us also boosted boosted increased the it gave a strength to its impact the influence of the feature films among the audience the audience was deeply uh, influenced by the coming of the feature films because they entertained them much and also now they had to go to a longer entertainment because of the length of the feature films so once again the success of the regular production of the longer <coughs> films by the most famous paramount film company in america and other independent companies also boosted its impact it was a fashion in the 1910s to exhibit a longer film and one or two short films together it became almost a fashion in the theaters in the exhibition houses what to exhibit a longer film with a popular actors and a popular theme and one or two short films having a one reel or two reels this became a fashion in the theaters what you know it was a fashion in the late 1910s to exhibit a longer film and one or two short films together ayirath tholayirath pattukalukku shesham amerikayilum mattu paachathi rajyangalilum oru fashion ayi maariya sambradayam nu arnja cinema theaterilile popular actorsum nalla kathayum nalla banner il produce cheyunnathumaya oru feature film പ്രദർശിപ്പിക്കുന്നതോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ കാണികൾക്ക് ഒരു ബോണസ് ആയിട്ട് ഒരു അഡീഷണൽ എൻ്റർടൈൻമെൻ്റ് ആയിട്ട് നല്ല സന്ദേശമുള്ള ഒന്നോ രണ്ടോ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ഫിലിംസ് കൂടി അവതരിപ്പിക്കുമായിരുന്നു ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് വാസ് ദി എൻ്റർടൈൻമെൻറ്റ് പാറ്റേൺ വിച്ച് ദി അമേരിക്കൻ പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻ കമ്പനീസ് ആൻഡ് എക്സിബിറ്റേഴ്സ് ഫോളോഡ് ഇൻ ദി യു എസ് നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ഇൻ യു എസ് ബട്ട് ഓൾസോ ഇൻ വെസ്റ്റേൺ കൺട്രീസ് the term feature was used to signify the various unique elements of particular films actually the feature feature in feature film feature was used to signify or show or represent the various unique elements of particular films or pratheyadana cinemalde pala ghadagangale cherthana yatharthathil feature nu abhisambodhana cheyunnathu feature kondu uddheshikkunna or cinemale pala pala ghadagangaleyana that is the appearance of a well known actor the appearance of a superstar or mega star an intriguing concept an intriguing concept uh, the plot of the enigma resolution pattern which was followed in the narratives an intriguing an intriguing intriguing means what is the meaning of intriguing intriguing means causing suspense causing excitement that is intriguing so it must have an intriguing concept high production values the 
uh, filmmakers will be having high production values. Longer running time, the cinema should have run, uh, the cinema must have a longer running time. So these were the features attributed to future films at the earliest. At the earliest phase, the features attributed to feature films were the appearance of a well-known actor, superstar and intriguing concept. Concept causing suspense and excitement. High production values and a longer running time, etc. were the features. In the long run, that means finally or ultimately, the films with a longer running time came to be known as feature films. Finally, what happened? See, people began to express the films with a longer running time as feature films. In the longer, in the long run, or ultimately or finally, the films with a longer running time came to be called, came to be known as feature film. Film historians tend to distinguish between film theorists, film critics and film historians tend to distinguish. They tend to differentiate between future films and future feature length films. According to them, there are two classifications. One is feature film and other is feature length film. Feature films and feature length films. See what is the distinction between the two? What is the difference between the two feature film and feature length film? As uh, see, stipulated by the film historians and uh, film theorists. Avery were in the feature film and feature length film in the middle of Vithyas on the Pragadamai Vithyas on the Magal Kelkum, a very Kumbri and the Vithyas on the you know the, the former that is feature film. Feature film refers to films with the unique features. Unique features means the appearance of a well-known actor, intriguing concept, high production, uh, etc. And also should have a longer running time. If a film includes all these features, the historians called it feature film. So, feature film refers to films with the unique features. And feature length film refers to films of longer running time. So feature length films need not have uh, uh, the features mentioned earlier like uh, the appearance of a superstar and uh, the uh, incorporation of intriguing concepts. Uh, see these, are, these things are uh, not at all necessary in a feature length film. Feature length film should have a longer running time. A film with a longer running time came to be known as, it came to be called a feature length film. It came to be called a feature length film. And the other one is feature film. So this is the division that the historians made. So this is the demarcation that film theorists and film critics have made. So, the studio produced the films that came out between 1920s and 1950s. The studio films that came out between 1920s and 1950s maintained a running time of 65 to 120 minutes. The average running time of the films made by studios during the period from 1920 to 1950 was 65 to 120 minutes, 120 minutes. In the 1930s to 1950s and also in the 1930s to 1950s, there existed a practice in the US and Britain referred to as a double bill, double bill, double bill. There existed a practice in the US and Britain referred to as double bill which exhibited two feature films together. They exhibited two feature films together, and feature films. One lengthy and other a short one. And lengthy films are in the Britain and US. We are in the Kerala. We are in the Kerala. We are short films. We are in the Kerala. Dulkar Sanman, there is a cinema in Dairinum. 
അതിനു മുമ്പ് തന്നെ അഞ്ച് സിനിമകൾ അഞ്ച് മലയാള സിനിമകൾ കോർത്തിണക്കിക്കൊണ്ടൊരു സിനിമ ഇപ്പം അടുത്ത കാലത്ത് നെറ്റ്ഫ്ലിക്സിൽ റിലീസ് ചെയ്ത ഒരു തമിഴ് സിനിമ അതിൽ അഞ്ച് കഥകളാണ് അഞ്ച് ഷോർട്ട് ഫിലിംസാണ് അതിൽ അവതരിപ്പിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ കാണികൾക്ക് ബോറടിക്കുകയല്ല ദ ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് വേരീഡ് മെസ്സേജസ് ദ ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് വേരീഡ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് പ്ലേഷേഴ്സ് ബൈ ദി വ്യൂയിങ് ഓഫ് ദി ഷോർട്ട് ഫിലിംസ് ഷോൺ ടുഗദർ അപ്പോൾ ഇതെല്ലായിടത്തും ഉണ്ട് അമേരിക്കയിൽ അതുപോലെ ബ്രിട്ടനിലും ആയിരത്തി തൊള്ളായിരത്തി മുപ്പത് അമ്പത് ആ കാലയളവിൽ മുപ്പതിനും അമ്പതിനും ഇടയിലുള്ള കാലയളവിൽ ഡബിൾ ബില്ല് ഡബിൾ ബെല്ലല്ല ഡബിൾ ബിൽ ഡബിൾ ബില്ലെന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു സമ്പ്രദായം ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു വട്ട് ഈസ് ദി മീനിങ് ഓഫ് ഡബിൾ ബിൽ ദാറ്റ് ഡബിൾ ബിൽ മീൻസ് ദി എക്സിബിഷൻ ഓഫ് ടു ഫീച്ചർ ഫിലിംസ് ടുഗദർ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വട്ട് ഈസ് ഡബിൾ ബിൽ പ്ലീസ് കീപ്പ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ യുവർ മെമ്മറി ഡബിൾ ബിൽ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ പ്രാക്ടീസ് ഓഫ് എക്സിബിറ്റിംഗ് ടു ഫീച്ചർ ഫിലിംസ് ടുഗദർ ദി ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫിലിം ഹാഡ് എ ലോങ് റണ്ണിങ് ടൈം ആക്ച്വലി ദി ഫസ്റ്റ് ഫിലിം ഹാഡ് എ ലോങ് റണ്ണിങ് ടൈം പോപ്പുലർ പെർഫോമേഴ്സ് പോപ്പുലർ ആക്ടേഴ്സ് വിൽ ബി ദിയർ ആൻഡ് എ ഹൈ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി എ ഹൈ ബജറ്റ് ഫിലിം ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഹാവിങ് എ ഹൈ ബാനർ ഹൈ ബജറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദി സെക്കൻഡ് ഫീച്ചർ ഫിലിം ഷോൺ ടുഗദർ വാസ് ഓഫ് ലെസ്സർ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഹാവ് മൈനർ പെർഫോമേഴ്സ് and uh, it will be a low budget film low budget movie and it will be, it will be having uh, very brief reels it will be much shorter so this was the practice which the film makers and the exhibitors used uh, they resorted to during the 1930s and 1950s in the us and also in britain i think it is a good practice മലയാളത്തിൽ ഞാൻ ആദ്യം ഇങ്ങനെ രണ്ട് സിനിമ ഒരുമിച്ച് കാണുന്ന ഒരു പഴയ സിനിമ നീല പ്രൊഡക്ഷൻസിൻ്റെ യൗവനം വണ്ടിക്കാരി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന സിനിമയായിരുന്നു അതിനുശേഷം ഇങ്ങനെ പല പല സിനിമകൾ ഇപ്പോൾ ധാരാളം സിനിമകൾ അങ്ങനെ പല സിനിമകൾ ചേർത്ത് കാണുന്നുണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ നെറ്റ്ഫ്ലിക്സിലെ തമിഴ് ഷോർട്ട് ഫിലിംസ് ചേർത്തുള്ള ഫിലിംസ് ആദ്യത്തെ ഫിലിം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ജയറാം ഉർവശിയൊക്കെ അഭിനയിക്കുന്നവരെണ്ണം അങ്ങനെ നല്ല ഏറ്റവും നല്ല മെസ്സേജ് അതെല്ലാം മെസ്സേജസാണ് അതുപോലെ ദുൽഖർ സൽമാൻ്റെ ഫിലിം പെട്ടെന്ന് പേരങ്ങ് മറന്നു പോയി ദുൽഖർ സൽമാൻ അഭിനയിച്ച ഈ പല കഥകളുള്ള സിനിമ അതിന് മുമ്പ് വന്ന പല താരങ്ങളും പല സംവിധായകരും കോർത്തിണങ്ങിയ ഒരു സിനിമ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദി എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഇത് അന്ന് അതിനൊക്കെ ആരംഭം കുറിച്ചത് അമേരിക്കയിലും ബ്രിട്ടനിലും നാ വു ലെറ്റസ് ഗോ ടു നദർ ജോൺഡ്രേ ഷോർട്ട് ഫിലിംസ് ഷോർട്ട് ഫിലിംസ് വട്ട് യു മീൻ ബൈ ഷോർട്ട് ഫിലിംസ് വട്ട് ഈസ് യുവർ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡിങ് അബൌട്ട് ഇറ്റ് films are categorized the into feature films and short films based on the duration or the running time of the films already we have seen films are categorized or demarcated or divided into feature films and short films based on the duration or the running time of the films generally films having a running time of 40 minutes or longer films having a running a time of 40 minutes or longer yes are tamed as feature films we have just understood that whereas the films having running times less than 40 minutes films which are having running times less than 40 minutes are tamed as short films what is meant by short films the films which are having less than 40 minutes running time are tamed as a short films films which have running times less than 40 minutes are tamed as short films the origin of the short films can be traced back to the infant stage of the silent cinema when we study the history of the short films we can see that the origin the growth of the short films can be traced back to the infant stage or the earliest stage of the silent cinema nammala ee short films inde aa origin thedi povuma nammal ettichirunnathu ee silent cinema ede shaisho gattathilekkana actualities news reels serials travel films and animations are the major short films so the major short film types are you know actualities means documentary types news reels 
news reels show along, shown along with the feature films the news release serial series are all, also of course examples of short film serials travel films and animations some animations uh, they were of course the major short film formats which existed earlier when we study the history of our short films we can see that the actualities the documentary types the news reel serials travel films and animations which were existed in the earlier phase earlier times were the major short film formats later on with the advancement of technology the two real silent films gradually increased their running lengths so later on with the advancement of technology the two real silent films gradually increased their running lengths until the late 1950s till the 1950s the cinema exhibitions featured short cartoons cinema exhibitions or cinema theaters featured they, sh they showed uh, they exhibited short cartoons travelogues travel films news reels hand in hand with the main feature film this practice even now exists you know until the late 1950s the cinema exhibitions featured short cartoons along with the main feature film short cartoons were uh, uh, shown travelogues were shown together with a, a longer uh, feature film and uh, news reels they went hand in hand with uh, the main feature film it was from the 1960s it was from 1960s onwards that the exhibitions limited to limited themselves to featuring a single film only after 1960 it became a practice of featuring or showing a single film in the theatre this brought about a change to the production of short films as the short films are not shown in theatres there came about a big change a drastic change a vast change in the production of short films so when the theatres or exhibition halls featured only a single film you know the production of short films underwent a big change the production of short films had had a deeper change after this short films began to appear in the format of non-commercial films then short films became non-commercial films they were exhibited not for profit they became non profitable or non-commercial films like the documentary avant-garde and the essay film and the amateur film amateur film the amateur film means uh, the short films taken by amateur filmmakers or novices the new filmmakers amateur film essay film avant-garde experimental short films and documentary so these became non-commercial and the people only wanted acclamations people only wanted compliments and uh, praises that is all so that was a deeper change which came to the production of short films after the film theatres began to show only the main feature film the production uh, went into the hands of some novices like uh, amateur filmmakers other documentaries they were they intended no profit from these productions they only wanted they only wanted acclamations and praises technologically and uh, aesthetically innovative work of the french french born director Michael Gondry Michael Gondry such as Eternal Sunshine on the Spotless Mind which was released this short film was released in 2004 you know the Eternal Sunshine on the Spotless Mind was a short film directed by Michael Gondry the French film director 
the eternal sunshine on the spotless mind reveals the influence of short film formats. It reveals or shows the influence of short film formats on other filmmakers. Other filmmakers including Ken Russell. Ken Russell. Ridley Scott. Nick Park. Shane Meadows. And Linne Ramsey. These filmmakers started off their careers with the short films because of the influence they derived from Michael Gondry, the director of the short film Eternal Sunshine on the Spotless Mind, Ken Russell, Ridley Scott, Nick Park, Shane Meadows and Linney Ramsey started off. They began their own careers with the short films. Unlike feature films, Short films are mainly exhibited in com competitions. The short films are not exhibited. The short films are not often exhibited in uh, cinema houses or film theatres. They are chiefly or mainly exhibited in competitions and in film festivals. There are short film festivals conducted across the world every year. And short films are uh, exhibited there and uh, uh, say given awards and acclamations. The availability of cheap digital cameras, the availability of cheap digital cameras and editing equipment. We have now cheap uh, digital cameras and also we have editing applications uh, like uh, InShot, uh, KiteMaster, uh, PowerPoint, Power uh, Director. Filimora. So because of these cheap uh, uh, editing techniques or editing equipment we can say these apps may be called editing equipment as well as the internet's role in providing an outlet you know the internet provides an outlet or uh, uh, stage exhibiting stage for these films. As a result, uh, these short films now have wide appeal. It, uh, see, the short films have a wide appeal because of all these facilities available now. Which are the facilities that boost the production of short films now? The uh, cheap digital cameras. The help given by internet. So, these films, uh, to these films have resulted in the wide appeal of this home. YouTube filmshort.com and Vimeo are some of the important uh, websites which promote these uh, short films. You will see especially YouTube. See when we examine YouTube we can see a large number of a lot of uh, lots and lots of uh, short films with the great messages. See astonishing kinds of short films are there available in YouTube's filmshorts.com and Vimeo platforms. So these are the available websites now. So this is about short films and the next genre we are discussing is Thriller. Thriller. The very word is onomatopic because the word gives the uh, feeling or the sense of what it is. Thriller. What is thriller? What is meant by thriller? What is your idea about thriller? What is your understanding on thriller? A film that is capable of generating a sense of excitement, uh, anxiety, agitation uh, and suspense, especially suspense or fear in the spectators is often denoted as a thriller. What is a thriller? A film that is capable of generating or creating or producing first a sense of excitement, anxiety, agitation, a kind of uneasiness, suspense and a fear, a fear in the spectators is often denoted or described as a thriller. So it cannot be considered as a fault, it cannot be 
a thriller cannot be considered as a full fledged genre. It is not a full fledged, a compact, a full fledged, complete genre because there are uh, see various genres mixed into it. There are various sub genres mixed into this genre film. So, this uh, genre can never be is considered as a full fledged genre as it cuts across this genre cuts across or it has different types of films it mixes up with the different types of films the general pattern of the thriller accommodates the general pattern the general way of the thriller accommodates a crime or a struggle a crime or a struggle around love or money as the central plot central plot the central plot of the thriller will be uh, see the a, an action related with a, a crime related with love or money a crime related with love or money will be the plot of a usual thriller Yes, of course. Thriller no remember. Now, we are going to talk about this. Hollywood dance, film, Bollywood dance, film, Mollywood dance, film. There are a lot of thrillers. There are a lot of thrillers. Psycho thrillers. We are going to talk about this. This is psycho thrillers. But that is something that I am bad at. Form is okay. Rashasen. There are films. Psycho thrillers. I told you, there are many psycho. By now, Alfred Hitchcock in the psycho. I am telling you, there are a lot of them. Haralam language is related. Then action thrillers, crime thrillers, and especially horror thrillers are also there. Horror thrillers, there will be, there are horror thrillers which excite us most. So in a thriller movie, the action and suspense of the movie will revolve around the major characters. The major characters which are often portrayed as criminals. The major characters of the thrillers will often be portrayed or depicted as criminals, sometimes criminals. Or the people from law and justice, forces of law and justice. They may be policemen or soldiers. The forces of law and justice. Sometimes victims. Victims will rise up to the level of hero. And it may be a bystander, a bystander, a onlooker, uh, whom circumstances forces circumstances force him to be the hero. Uh, and uh, see, the circumstances force him into action. Uh, so many films are there uh, with uh, such patterns. So the action and uh, suspense of the movie will revolve around. Revolve around the major characters which are often portrayed or depicted as criminals. The forces of land justice, people from land justice, victims or bystanders, they were on locates. The major characters are in the middle of the area. Law justice is in the middle of the area. Police are in the middle of the area. The area is in the middle of the area. Victims are in the middle of the area. Alangkah le nokin dulu kan, kan dan dulu kan, mana ada dia. Sahaya orang orang samar dah filem ayat, mana villa mai rete ayat no. And he is forced to enter into action. Angin ayat dia. So the aim of the plot is to startle or shock, scare and surprise the spectator. That is the aim of the plot. In other words, the aim of the plot is to startle, make tremble, startle or shock or scare. Scare means frighten. And uh, surprise the spectator. Specific responses are generated in the spectator through the introduction of the certain twists and tales. Twists. You know, specific or clear responses sir, are generated in the spectator or viewer or the audience through the introduction of certain twists and tales. Kathayarunnamnele twistigal namade Pokiri Raja itu, Madhuri Raja itu, kita nama kita Kadapatram. 
പറയുക കഥയൊന്നും പറയുക ടിസ്റ്റ് ടിസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ടേൻസ് സോ സ്പെസിഫിക് റെപ്പോർട്ട് സ്പെസിഫിക് റിയാക്ഷൻസ് ഓർ റെസ്പോൺസസ് ആർ ജനറേറ്റഡ് ഓർ ക്രിയേറ്റഡ് ഇൻ ദി സ്പെക്ടർ ഓർ വ്യൂവർ ഓർ ദി ഓഡിയൻസ് ത്രൂ ദി ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് സെർട്ടൻ ടിസ് ആൻഡ് ടേൻസ് ഇൻ ദി പ്ലോട്ട്സ് and the manipulation of the point of view and all the point of view is manipulated by the filmmaker and editing editing will be very much fast and special effects are used in editing and the off screen space is very uh, deftly used uh, to give a thrilling effect to off screen spaces you will remember the six areas outside the frame mark out of screen space refer to that if you do not know off screen space earlier examples from the silent era are the alien the earlier examples of thrillers from the silent era are the perils of polin directed by uh, louis garner louis garner in 1914 1914 the perils of polin it deals with the sufferings of a woman perils of paul in paul is a woman and the londale operator the story i have narrated in my uh, in one of my previous videos the londale operator after the father's death a girl is forced to take over the charge of the telegraph telegraph station in uh, in a railway station and the uh, difficulties faced the uh, by her some outlaws the londale operator the film maker is dw griffith the famous film maker dw griffith and the film was out in the year 1911 1911 1911 these are the earlier examples of thrillers during the silent era both these films exploit the thriller trope trope means the recurring theme trope trope both these films which will is the perils of polin and the londale operator make use of or exploit the thriller trope recurring theme of the women in peril in these films the women are in danger the women are in peril peril then the suspense and surprise suspense and surprise aspects of the thriller are achieved by the narrative and the filmic form you know the suspense and surprise aspects of the thriller are achieved by the narrative technique and uh, the filmic forms alfred hitchcock who is regarded as the master of suspense he is considered as the master of suspense the best example is psycho 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 the hero is a mental pervert a psychopath who is the creation of bad parenting bad parenting made him so so <coughs> psycho the film uh, director is film maker is alfred hitchcock how is he regarded how is his uh, uh, fame where does his fame rest alfred hitchcock who is regarded as the master of suspense he is known as the master of suspense as explicitly very clearly demonstrated demonstrated shown he has very clearly shown he has very clearly depicted the features of a thriller in his 1960 film psycho this train is reinvented in the contemporary mainstream cinema in the films like this this train or the features created by alfred hitchcock in his earlier films are followed by the contemporary film makers in the films like the quantum of solace quantum of solace uh, by mark foster mark the director is the film maker is mark foster is a james bond film uh, which was out in 2008 the quantum of solace it is about uh, espionage the quantum of solace the film which was released in the year 2008 the born ultimate born ultimate the director is 
Paul Greengrass. Paul Greengrass is the filmmaker. What is the title of the film? The Born Ultimate. That is also uh, based on a, the patterns of thriller in which the hero suffers from uh, a kind of amnesia and he goes in search of his enemy who is a CIA officer. That is the uh, plot of The Born Ultimatum uh, which was released in 2007. The Born Ultimatum. The director is Paul Greengrass. Then uh, recent films like uh, The Matrix a scientific thriller. We can call it a scientific thriller. Science fiction thriller. <coughs> the Matrix. A computer program programmer, a computer programmer uh, becomes in war with uh, some computers. That is the theme of the Matrix. Directed by Andy and uh, say Larry Wachowski. So the directors, the film was out in the year 1999. 1999. Then Memento. Memento, a Christopher Nolan film. It is directed by Christopher Nolan who has directed so many well-known films like Dark Knight, uh, Interstellar, Memento and such as the famous films, Christopher Nolan. The Academy Award winner Christopher Nolan. His Memento. Memento, it is uh, re uh, remade in so many films. Tamil Gejini Nore Sili Memento Day. Memento Day or Remake Ayer No Hindi Le. Urugado Samithana Jido. Ado Palla Kadangal Kooti Na Gaya Narration Na Madhu Vala Dhanne. Palla Kadangal Kooti Na Gaya Manu Khare Ma Ayer Tarla Ayer No. Uh, Memento. Memento uh, which came out in the year 2000, 2000. And Hidden, Hidden, uh, released in the year 2005. Uh, so it is about a family, a couple and a child, a couple and a child uh, uh, see fighting against the outward forces. That is the theme of the Hidden which was released in 2005, 2005. Uh, so these are the later versions of the uh, earlier Hitchcock films. Or we can say these are the films which strictly follow the features of thriller films. Contemporary thrillers experiment with the filmic narration and a viewpoint that elicits which creates, elicit or create new modes of responses. They are able to create or produce new types of responses from the audience. So thriller, actually thriller excites us very much. We are deeply fascinated and enchanted by thriller movies. That is a truth. The thriller has established a place in the history of early cinema and it has close connections with the horror crime and action genres you know the thriller has established a place it has made a place it has kept its chair in the history of early cinema and it has close connections close relationships with the horror genres horror films crime films known as crime thriller thrillers and action genres action genres action thrillers then film noir, film noir, gangster, science fiction, horror films are more or less considered as thrillers. You know, film noir, gangster movies, science fiction movies and horror films are more or less considered as thrillers. Manipulation of the plot creates fear and apprehensions in the minds of the audience. You know, thrillers, the filmmakers of the thrillers create fear and apprehensions in the minds, fears and doubt, apprehensions means doubts in the minds of the audience by the manipulation of plot and other items. The psychological thrillers, very fascinating and we are deeply fascinated by psychological thrillers. Aren't we? 
the psychological thrillers are constructed on sadomasochism madness and voyeurism voyeurism sadomasochism and madness main theme of the psychological psychological thrillers are sadomasochism madness and voyeurism sadomasochism means it a kind of a sadism connected with the sexuality you know that is the way of inflicting pain on the sex partners especially women by using burning cigarette butts or some pins etc on the body of the partner and thus uh, uh, experiencing a pleasure that is what is sadho magism madness we know some heroes are mad in psychological thrillers and voyeurism voyeurism means it is also a vulgar behavior that is the, the it is the vulgar practice of watching the nakedness of others and experiencing a pleasure or watching the pleasure of others engaging in sexual activities and deriving pleasure that is what is voyeurism these are the voyeurism madness and the sadomasochism are the main themes of psychological thrillers and some of the thriller films like psycho by alfred hitchcock and peeping tom peeping tom was an earlier film in which a film maker he becomes almost bad and he kills women while killing he will shoot them shoot the scenes the killing scenes will be shot by the film maker that is the uh, plot of peeping tom uh, it was directed by michael powell michael powell a uh, psycho uh, made by alfred hitchcock some of the thriller films like psycho by alfred hitchcock and peeping tom by michael michael power focus on the issues of bad parenting the heroes have, uh, have become psychopaths because of the effects of adverse effects of bad parenting bad parenting anyhow the thrillers fulfill our psychological fascination for horror in the depth of our hearts or minds there is a fascination for horror we all want it to get frightened somehow or the other so getting frightened is something which gives us pleasure so the thrillers fulfill our psychological fascination psychological attraction for horror that is what the uh, thriller does so this is about the three genres we have studied which are the genres feature film short film and thrillers